This video is for 1-1 solving equations review. So this just goes through a couple different types of equations. The first one is simple one and two step equations. So remember the first thing that you wanna do is move all the number terms to one side and keep all the variable terms on the other side. Usually we leave the variable terms on the left, but you don't have to. Here we would have 13 minus four which is nine. Then your next step would be to get the variable by itself. So you divide both sides by three and you would do x equals nine. Uh, next equation here, uh, this one is an example where you're going to do the opposite. So here on the left hand side, you're dividing by three. So the opposite would be to multiply both sides by 3 and then on the left side you're left with x on the right hand side you're left with 36. The next type of equation that you should be familiar with is solving equations with variables on both sides. So same approach as before we're going to get all our terms with variables on one side all our terms with numbers on the left side. We just have a little bit more moving to around to do. Uh, then in the simple equations. So we're gonna move our variables to the left, numbers to the right. And so on the left, we're gonna end up with six X minus four. Remember to switch the sign when you move the term over the equal sign. And on the right hand side, we're gonna end up with 13 plus 18. So we've got two X equals 13 plus 18, which is 31. And we're going to end up with a fraction here, which is okay. So we'll divide both sides by 2. And we get x equals 31 over 2. And you can just leave it as that fraction. Uh, here, we've got a couple more terms, but we're going to do the same approach. So we're going to move all our variable terms to one side and all our number terms to the other side. So here we've got minus 6x minus 3x. And then on the right hand side, we're going to have 4 minus 7. That was there before. Plus 1 minus 2. So on the left side, this leaves us with minus 9x. 4 minus 7 is minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 minus 2 again is minus 4 and then we're left with x equals 4 over 9 a fraction no problem the next type of equation is solving equations with brackets so here when you have an equation with brackets the first thing that you need to do is get rid of the brackets so in this case we can expand using the distributive property to get 6x minus 3 equals 45. Then we're going to move our number term over to the right side, which leaves us with 6x equals 48. Then we can divide both sides by 6, leaving us with x equals 8. Same thing over uh, in example B. Here, except we've got two brackets to expand. So 2x minus 4 equals 3x minus 12. Same thing, we're going to move our variable terms to one side and our number terms to the other side. So we would have minus x equals minus 12 plus 4 so that would be minus 8 and then we're left with x equals positive 8. Here d our last type of equation is solving equations with fractions. Fractions always make things a little bit wonky the first thing that you want to do is get rid of the fraction by multiplying by a common denominator as low as possible to make your math easier. So here in example A, I see I've got a denominator of 4 and a denominator of 3. 
I'm going to multiply each term in the equation by 12. Important to multiply each term. And then I can cancel out no fraction in uh, the number 5 term. And then I'll cancel out here. And then I'm going to end up multiplying what's left over. So 9x minus 60 equals 4x. I'm going to move my x term over and my number term to the right, which is going to give me 5x equals 60, dividing by 5, and then x equals 12. Let's do one more example with fractions. Here I've got a 5 and a 3, so I'm going to multiply each term by 15 to do the common denominator. So then I can cancel out before I multiply, so I'm left with a 3, 15 times 4, nothing to cancel out here, and here I'm left with a 5. So I've got 12k minus 60 equals 5k, and then again I'm going to move my variable term over, my number term to the right hand side, And then I'm going to simplify. So 12 minus 5 uh, would be 7k equals 60. And then I've got k equals 60 over 7. We can just leave that as a fraction. The last thing that you need to know how to do with equations is how to check the solution. So example he, E here says, uh, is x equals minus 3 the correct solution to the equation? Minus 3 x plus 9 equals 1 half x plus 11. You could solve the equation to check. It looks a little bit dicey. It's got a fraction and brackets. So more efficiently, you can check the solution using a left side, right side check. So my left side is minus 3 x plus 9. My right side is 1 half x plus 11. And then I'm going to sub in what I think the solution is, minus 3. So on my left side, I get minus 3 times 6 minus 18. So if on my right hand side that also equals minus 18, then I know that x equals minus 3 is correct. So let's give that a try. 1 half minus 3 plus 11. Well, minus 3 plus 11 would be my, uh, positive 8. And then I would end up with 4. So that means that x equals minus 3 is not the correct solution because the left side does not equal the right side. That gives you a little bit of review on solving equations.